So good afternoon class. So this is GE6100 Understanding the Self, Section 44. By the way, for those who are new, my name is Will Fabrio and I'll be your instructor for the entire semester. So what are the expectations or learning outcomes for this day's topic? Number one, define the physical self. Number two, explain the importance of the physical self. And number three, demonstrate the critical reflective thought in integrating the various aspects of the physical self. Likewise, just like my previous presentations, if you think I am discussing the topic too fast, and if there are terminologies you would like me to expound or explain further, please let me know through chat box. So this is the physical self. So physical self refers to the body. So a marvelous container and complex, finely tuned machine with which we interface with our environment and fellow beings. Finely tuned meaning almost perfect. Diba? Biblically speaking, uh, we are created in the image of God. And likewise, it is machine because it has something to do with the work of the body. The physical self is the concrete dimension, the tangible aspect of the person that can be directly observed and examined. So physical self is equals to the body. So kung ano yung nakikita nyo sa katawan nyo, sa katawan ng ibang tao, it refers to the physical self. So physical self, directly or indirectly, the discussion on physical self has found a place in various schools of psychology. Like psychoanalysis, which is under Sigmund Freud, behaviorism, under uh, John B. Watson and B.F. Skinner, humanism under Carl Rogers and other psychologists with some of its most ardent exponents and followers dealing with the issue of value, uh, varying proportions. So we go now with William James' discussion of physical self. So as I have discussed from the previous weeks, William James founded functionalism and functionalism was influenced or William James was influenced by Charles Darwin, theory of evolution or natural selection. So apart from this functionalism, the source of sensation and necessary for the origin and maintenance of personality. So according to him, the body or the physical self is the source of sensation and necessary for the origin and maintenance of personality, which is basically true. Without the body, the physical aspects of the body, uh, we can no longer sensation, perception, and other processes or functioning do not exist. Yan yung sinasabi ni William James na our body is the source or origin of sensation. And what are these sensations? Basically, as we all know, the five senses are the following. Sight, which is visual. Taste, or gustatory. Touch, somatosensory. Smell, olfactory. And sound, auditory. So, for William James, a part of physical self is the mental concentration. And when we speak of mental concentration, the body subservient to the mind. Pag sinabi kasi nating subservient, it refers that the body is prepared to follow the mind unquestioningly. That is why there are people, since we are referring now with the mental concentration, that has an effect with the physical body, there are people who have high tolerance in pain and there are people who have low tolerance in pain. And who are those people who have high tolerance in pain? These are just the example. Soldiers and boxers. Why? Because they are physically 
mentally prepared for the adversaries or yung mga kaaway or conflict before they go in say the ring or go in the field for their opponent they are trained physically emotionally psychologically prepared to win the battle if not really to win but at least they are physically mentally prepared to do boxing or to do in the field so yan po yung ibig sabihin natin ng mental preparation or mental concentration and for james the body is an expressive tool of indwelling consciousness pag sinabi nating consciousness it also refers to awareness uh, because um william james of also focuses on awareness why because part of our evolution as homo sapiens we become aware of high, of our high mental functioning yan yung part of our evolution which is as we became and until now we are the modern humans called homo sapiens part of our evolution is awareness or consciousness and this one has something to do with the good physical health that wells up from every part of the body of a muscularly well trained people or human beings and soaks in indwelling soul in him with satisfaction it is important or it is an element of spiritual hygiene of supreme significance again i would like to emphasize that the body as the initial source of sensation and the body is subservient meaning it is prepared to obey the mind kung babalikan ko yung previous discussion natin what the mind says the body will follow and vice versa ito po yung sinasabi ni William James so do you have any questions regarding William James assume none now we go now with Sigmund Freud so in Sigmund Freud basically he proposed psychoanalysis and psychoanalysis has something to do with unconscious again going back to the evolution of psychology he proposed different things or different theories about personality however in this discussion he also focuses on physical body as the core of human experience which is the ego as first and foremost a body ego again without the body ego which is part of our personality will not exist because if we're going back to our definition of a body it is something to do with tangible or concrete so without any physical um, existence of the body these personalities ego id and super ego will not exist likewise with the soul or with the spirit although uh, sigmund freud uh, discusses a little about physical body because he con concentrated more on the life instincts and life instincts has two dimensions or two parts the life instincts and the death instinct should i say the instincts have two parts the life instincts and the death instincts then he, he was also discussed he also discussed childhood experience um dreams or dream analysis in the structure of personality which i have mentioned a while ago the id the ego and the super ego wilhelm reich is actually was actually influenced by by sigmund freud in terms of his so called bioenergy bioenergy is just the same or counterpart of instincts because instincts for freud is an energy on right theory it is called the bioenergy so basically for for wilhelm reich the mind and the body are one 
So all psychological processes, he postulated that as part of physical and physical processes, the mind also function as one. So again, dito ko ilalagay yung what the ba what the mind says the body will follow and vice versa. So as you can see the connection with functionalism to Sigmund Freud, psychoanalysis, and even Wilhelm Reich, they have similarities when it comes to the physical body. So for Reich, the body is essential, dynamic, in all psychological functioning as it plays a critical role in storing and channeling the bioenergy which is the basis of human existence and experience. So, kumbaga, bioenergy or the life itself. So, in conclusion, the body is essential as it is a container of the mind and spirit. Without the body, there will be no experiences, sensation, psychological, or physical processes. It only means that without the existence of the body, the concrete part or the tangible part, therefore, spirit, mind are actually do not exist. 